Hey, this is definitely not Jonas from the Maxon training team. And in this Cinema 4D quick tip, I will show you how to create a distance map and use it with redshift displacement. Here we have a scene with a model, a mail bust and a plane. Right click on the plane and go and add a vertex map. In the vertex map, drag the model you want to use. Select the model, make sure you're in surface mode and extend this so that you can see how large your effect is going to be. Make sure to restrict the effect to the outside, so the inside is not affected. And the difference is this. Inside now gets no value, whereas none, it gets value. We don't want that. Now let's go and make sure that Redshift is active. Close this. Let's go and create a Redshift standard material. Double click the material, add a vertex map, a vertex attribute and a displacement node and connect the out color to the displacement nodes text map. Put this in the displacement and make sure that you have enough displacement. In this particular case, I'm going to use 50 to begin with. Close this for now and close this and activate this. Let's bring up the redshift render view and dock it on our screen. Activate it and go and apply the material to the plane. To make the displacement work, right click on the plane, render tags, redshift object, override the geometry, the tessellation and the displacement and set the maximum displacement to something similar or higher than the one you had in your displacement node. Now go back to your material, open it up, move it to the side and make sure that the vertex attribute has your vertex map. Let's close the material, go to the vertex map field list, select the field, go to remapping, go down here and change the contour mode to curve. And now we can go to this curve and change the shape, control click if you want to add a point, and we can actually move these points around to create any kind of shape we want. And this now looks like an object embedded in sand. And you can use any other field trickery to change this field and that will be represented in the displacement. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.